everyone, this is Katie Carney and this is Katie Carney Stitching. It is Sunday the 19th of September and this is my floss tube number 51. Uh, you can probably hear my fan going. Um, it's gotten cooler here. It's only going to be in the 70s today but it's still kind of warm in the house. Anyway, it's been uh, just under two weeks since I filmed last. I um, filmed on Memorial Day two weeks ago so uh, I filmed on a Monday instead of a Sunday. So. I'm happy to check in with you all today. I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good two weeks. Um, I got a lot of stitching done. Uh, really a lot of crafting. I've been in the I've been in the crafting mood. Um, I don't know if it's the new job or the change in the weather or a little bit of both. Um, but I just I want to stitch and I want to knit and <laughs> I've been reading more. Um, so it's been nice to have my moments be full but also not feel like they're full because I'm stressed out. So anyway, that has been really really great. Um, I had a good two weeks. Uh, I don't think I really did anything all that interesting which is fine. I had a busy week last week. I feel like I went out to dinner a couple times which is great um, although I do it's when I get home from work I kind of don't want to go back out. <laughs> um, so, <coughs> hang on, <coughs> you know, either my nose is running from allergies or I have post-nasal drip from allergies, it's always something. Um, so let's get to the stitching, and now that I have um, coughed on the internet for you. Um, yesterday I made for a friend, her birthday is the 23rd, and I actually already got and gave her her gift, but... I made her this sweet little makeup bag. I got these at Target last year and for my other friends, I've done two of them so far. I've just done, done one of the patterns that they came with, but this friend loves gnomes and I was like, how hard could it be to make a gnome? And it wasn't. So the two blues down here came in the kit. The beard color came in the kit. This is honey from, I pulled it from my Consider the Lilies and this is Cadet. Cadet is weeks, I think, and then I don't remember what this is, but the um, I pulled them both just from Consider the Lilies because I had the floss right there, um, although, so I do these, they're four strands, and this used a whole thing of Cadet, like a whole six strand piece of it, and I was like, oh, shouldn't have done this. So I hope she likes it because she got very fancy, fancy floss on this gnome and I hope that I don't run out for Consider the Lilies now. Um, I do not normally pull floss from another pattern unless it's DMC. Um, and then even then I don't really like to do it unless it's just a couple strands because I don't want to run out. Um, so anyway, uh, this is my first finish. This is for Susie. Happy birthday in four days. Um, and then... Big news, I finished Fra's ornaments. Um, so I, for my grandmother's 20 Christmas ornaments this year, I used a book that came in my um, Black Noodle Society advent box last year. And that was JBW Designs Christmas ornaments. There just happened to be 20. Although I will admit I only did 16 of them and repeated a few. The last couple in the book went from being very very simple to having eight colors and beads and that just i no <laughs> particularly at the end because by the end i'm done like i just want them to be over with so um i'm actually going to give this away uh, i would love to pass this on that most of them are pretty easy so if you are interested in this um in your comment just say christmas and uh, I'll pull that in two weeks. So I would love to give this away. Just say Christmas. Um, most of them were pretty easy uh, and I liked them. So I can't remember how many that I showed you last time. This is the, I want to say it's 32 count. Must no, Yeah, this is 32 count. It's like a gingham. It's from um, Hobby Lobby. This is a mix of 
two strands of Bing Cherry by uh, Classic Color Works, not Bing Cherry, Cherry by Classic Color Works in the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean box of floss that comes with the Frogworks box. And I also used, I think that's all I ended up using. So this, I think you saw this one, but here's one. One, two, three, that's one strand. This is also one strand. I really like this one. Four, five, and six. This is my favorite, and I ended up doing a few more of these two. So here's six. Again, if you've already seen them, I apologize. Who knows what happens in two weeks? And then the last four are on, someone sent this to me. It's Witchelt uh, Christmas Red 28 count. And here's one, two, look at how lopsided that is. Didn't notice till it was done. Three, and then four. So those are, there's those. So that makes 20, um, which is great. Those are all done. For the Witchelt ones, these ones, this is, this is the anchor floss that you can get at Joann's now on a spool. I don't have it right here, but I was watching uh, a floss tube yesterday, a woman from Ohio whose name escapes me, stitching in the barn maybe. She's blonde. She goes to Lancaster a lot. It doesn't matter. She was saying that she had used it and she had noticed that some of the strands of floss might be different sizes. I did not notice that, although I will try to pay more attention in the future. Um... These are both two strands. These are all two strands, though, because it's 28 count. Um, so I definitely did not notice. Uh, I do like working with it. It's convenient. It is a little um, less fluffy, furry than DMC and the DMC base. Um, so I'm going to use it a little more just to see what I actually think of it. I don't think there's any more coverage. I know people say with Anchor Black they get more coverage. With the white, I did not, but it did not tangle as badly as DMC White normally does, which was great. So anyway, those are all my finishes for the week, but I, I mean, that's a lot of finishes. <laughs> um, Friday night when I got home from work, I just had like the house left and this part here the tree and I was like I'm finishing this right now so I sat down with Fra and watched the news it only took about 20 minutes these are the the this one that I love so much they're very fast so anyway they're done yay but that is not all the stitching that I did so I also continued working on my sweater uh, that is here this is the Dre Knits May. Mine won't look like this on me because she has a very different figure than I do. But um, I have been doing two rounds before I go to sleep and then some days I get a little more and some days it's a little less, but I am definitely making some progress and I know that because if you will remember, I have a stitch marker. <laughs> that I accidentally stitched into the project that I have to cut off with like wire cutters. So you can see this is where I was a couple weeks ago. So it's been a nice way to tell how far I've gotten. So anyway, um, this is the side. So you can see it's a little shorter in the front. So we're, we're getting there. Um, it's definitely, excuse me, excuse my face drop the drop the yarn um I've definitely been more in the mood to knit than I have been for several years again I think it's because I'm not as depressed I also have this lovely bag that I've been keeping it in because I needed it's a sweater so it's kind of big 
so this just sits by my bed. Um, a friend of mine got me this, it's handmade. Um, I have this one and then I have a big round one that I actually have my fiber fill in. If you guys could see all around me when I stop recording, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get out of my chair because I am definitely in prison here. So that's my knitting. Then last Sunday, you know when I said I wasn't going to start anything until I finished Fra's Ornaments? I, I didn't. <laughs> didn't follow through with that. So I had showed you guys that I got Primrose Cottage stitches. Happy Halloween. I got the kit. Um, it came with the Fancy Floss, which is Onyx, Parchment, and pers Persimmon. Is that how you say that? I think it's Persimmon. Um, so that they are very Halloween-y. I actually like the Onyx. I don't know if it's... I think black would have been fine, but there's the colors. And I am using a 16 count dyed that I got from a company that does silk conversions whose name escapes me. They had a mystery fabric. This is 16 count Ada. Uh, I have completed the black. I am doing one strand, so it's a little more prim than you might normally expect. Um, because it did call for two strands, but I'm using one. I'm being cheap, honestly, with the fancy floss. <laughs> so there's that. I did the outline of the first pumpkin this morning. Um, and I'm going to outline all the pumpkins that are left just so that it's just fill in. So I like it so far. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's so cute. I love the little witch's shoes and the little spider. So, um, I also pulled out, uh, I got a set of Lori Holt stitch cards from a friend last year. And is there a picture of all four of them? There we go. So this is the Halloween ones. And I just have to pull, um, a couple colors that I think I can pull from the, um, Autumn Royalty. I think I have them like similar enough colors there. And I think I'm going to do all four of these together. I don't need it, but I think they're cute and I think they'll be fast. Um, so that'll be maybe, maybe that'll happen. Um, so this will be my early morning before work and on lunch stitching um, now. So that is a whip. And then I also worked on Consider the Lilies. I got a lot done on this. So Consider the Lilies this is by Heartstring Samplery. I am doing one page a month for two years to hopefully have this completed in January of 2023. Um, I hope. I did fall behind. I did not do July or August during July or August, <laughs> but I'm almost caught up now with September. So I am using 36 count Winter's Brew by r, r So there's that. It's so beautiful. And I'm using the called for floss except for where needlework corner in Baltimore did not have the color and then she subbed for me. So here's the colors. They're starting to look a little scraggly, but they are pretty. Like I said, I pulled um, Cadet. Who's Cadet by? I was right. Cadet is a Weeks. I really like Cadet. I really like Cadet, so. That's a week's, and then it's honeycomb, not honey. So. And this is just on a on a ring with a little little tag I made. Okay, you don't care about that. So the last time you saw this, I had not completed July. So July is this bottom section here, and then August goes to this angel here. And then the tree is September. 
there we go so I started the tree on Monday or Tuesday and it is taking forever um, I haven't put a ton of time into this uh, lately but let's show you up close so there's July and there is August and there is about the beginning of September so the rest of September will be where did I put the here it is September goes to like here where my finger is and then you get up to like there to their loincloths Adam and Eve so I want to finish that this week god willing um i have been working on something else though that i'm about to see you so that's why i didn't finish this page this week um i'm not gonna work on this today i took it out of the hoop to show you all normally i don't take it out of the hoop but i had three months of stitching to show you so i will put this back in the hoop tomorrow we'll let it rest tonight okay i'm gonna put the book away though because i don't want to lose it this is a project bag that i made isn't it pretty i love the inside so that is Consider the Lilies. I have been working on that in my Dubco frame, um, sitting at my desk, which is right behind me. And that seems to be working out well because then I, the pro other project I'm working on, I put on scroll rods and I have been using my floor stand. So um, are you ready to see that? Hang on. Sorry, I needed to take a drink. I was thirsty. Um, so I have a new start. There was some um, thoughts about when the Mayflower left. I got a comment last time that it actually left a week before I had said it did on the 16th. It did leave. It came back. They had already been on it for a while. Um, so it actually left and did not return to port on the 16th of September. So, all that to say, 401 years after the Mayflower left, I have started coming to America by With I Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais, right? Is that her? Yeah, I think so. Doesn't matter. With I Needle and Thread. Women of the Mayflower. I am using what I am 90% certain is 36 count. It is definitely country mocha, vintage country mocha. It's the vintage. I am using the vintage side and I am using the called for floss, um, which is a mix of Gentle Arts, Weeks, and DMC. The colors are shockingly luscious for a sampler that is about the Mayflower. They are beautiful. Uh, the white is, is this grits i love grits now i know why people like it so much um it uses the border is in oscar which is also the border of consider the lilies and much as i love green i'm learning to hate oscar but yeah so pretty i've used very few colors so far uh, and then this is the um the card that it came with so i started this the night they left, here, it was our time, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, um, I have this on my 8-inch scroll frame, and roller frame, excuse me, and here it is. So I am just, I've done the border to where I could get to it easily. I've put in the seagulls and a couple flags and the, um, the, uh, anchor so I know that a lot of people had said that they couldn't see the seagulls so I did one with one strand because I'm using one strand for 36 count and then I did one with two and it looked so bad that I ripped it out and if you guys know me I don't rip things out I just keep going so I ripped it out and restitched it and then this is the beginning of a pilgrim um, so yeah each one of these little guys used an entire strand of grits the eyes were a giant pain I just because I had to do pin stitch to start it and pin stitch to end it for each individual one all in the same but I think that kind of makes it look more like an eye can we get close to that so I think the seagulls are pretty cute um 
I think I'm gonna have plenty of fabric. I hate the fact, so here, I should have only left two inches, because that's all I really need, so that would be to here. It would really be to here, because I left three. Um, so I think that I'll have enough fabric left over here that I'll be able to save it and do some small like bookmarks or something, because I hate the very expensive fabric to waste. But anyway, um, once we, once I'm done here, or maybe today, I need to take the sidebars off and fix these because they're not on correct right now. I need to, so I've got a little more attention. Um, and then I'm probably going to finish up here and roll it up so that I can start the ship. So that's how she blows. I do not think I'll get this done in 66 days, but it is my secret reaching goal. So that is Coming to America. I'm listening to John Randolph. I think he's one of the people on the ship. He wrote a book in 1630 or 40, before he died, which he died in the 1650s, I think. He was like 65. He wrote a book about why they left how they got ready to leave, and then the voyage. And you can listen to that for free on Audible. So I'm listening to that book. And then when I'm finished that, I will start another one that my cousin Marietta recommended, whose name escapes me. But anyway, coming to America. All right. It's time for haul. If you don't want to buy things, don't watch Michelle McGraw. That's that's the that's the point of this story. So you'll remember last time I purchased. Well, first off, I'm I'm gonna show it again because it's so cute. I made this beautiful project bag. So nice, love it. Um, because Michelle McGraw had shown in her floss tube her beautiful Halloween village that she made from Frosted Pumpkin. So in the middle of the night, it was like 9.30, I purchased the Mysterious Halloween Town, the Penny's Potions, the Batty Bakery. Whoa, sorry, my fan. I forgot about the fan. I shouldn't forget about that. It's all that's keeping me going and Midnight Way. And Michelle did all of hers using the Halloween Town colors. And I decided to copy her. But I needed fabric. Went through my stash for in-hand smalls. I prefer to use Ada because it's easier and for smalls in particular I'm looking for easy. So here are the um, called for DMC. I, I am using the DMC. They are bright. They are beautiful. They make me happy. The only one, it calls for classic Colorworks bubblegum. I'm using Weeks bubblegum. They look the same. Yesterday I went to Joann's and just for the heck of it, I purchased, this is the Anchor DMC for the 718. So I actually think I like the DMC color better. It's a little richer. And then this is for the DMC 3042. This is the anchor next to it. And same thing, the, the oh, Jesus, Mary Nipple. I actually think maybe I like the anchor of this one better. Anyway, I just figured for fun. Um, they're like, I couldn't remember how much they were. They're 75 cents. Um, so, and there's 10 yards. No, almost 11 yards. And then DMC, I think is, is it eight, six or eight? I can't remember. Um, so I just, it's just for fun. It's my stitching. I'll do what I want. But I also ordered fabric from 123 Stitch. And Michelle used, uh, picture this plus murky 14 count. 
And I've never used Murky, but Michelle uses Murky for literally everything. It is her favorite. So I had been kicking around getting it for a while, but since I am literally copying her 100%, I ordered Murky. And it's funny, she, she said in a message to me, you know, it kind of looks like a dirty grease towel from a garage and girl, you are not wrong. It looks like I, I got, I picked up oil with this, but that's the Ada. I got a pretty big piece. Um, it is a uh, half a yard. I think it'll be enough. Michelle, if that's not going to be enough, let me know. I will obviously cut it down so it's a little easier to work with. Um, so I think that I'm going to use the picture of this plus murky. I think that the colors really stand out on it. I also grabbed Zweigart. This is a half yard of Stormy Night. It also sticks out on this, but I think I like the murky better. But that's the Zweigart Stormy Night. That's 14 count also. Um, I think this is actually the same as the 16 count Ada that I got from Zweigart at Hobby Lobby last week. It's just 14 count and obviously a lot bigger. So like I said, I'm pretty sure, I'm not pretty sure, I'm going with the murky. I really like it. I think it's going to really look good together. So I got yesterday, well, I got two other things at one, two, three. I got the 2021 Santa, who I did not have, obviously. And then I got Winds of Autumn. Everybody, it's Blackbird. Uh, everybody talks about this wonderful book. The only other Blackbird book I have is the 4th of July one. Um, so they had this in stock and for many reasons, I decided to get it. And then I sat down with it and I said, oh dear, <laughs> I want to do it all. I love fall. Um, it's my birthday's in October. It's my just my favorite time of year. Um, so, yeah, love it. It's just the, the stuff in here is absolutely beautiful. And I think this will probably be the first thing I do. And that is called Bittersweet September. Um, I will do the um, conversion to DMC unless I happen to have the color. That's, as you guys know, what I do. And then it calls for 32 count R and R, but I will obviously sub something in from Stash. So while I was at Joanne's buying the anchor thread that I didn't need, I got I don't always put trim on my pillows, but Michelle used a black chenille trim on hers. But I found this. This is Bernat crushed velvet, and I love that it's like black and gray. So I am going to use that to trim my pillows. Um, there's already hair in it from me. But yeah, I think that's perfect. And then I also grabbed, I needed this like I needed a hole in my head. These two little fabric Halloween bundles. I don't think I'll use these for my pillows, but if I do, I have them now. And they're cute. I, I, I kind of want to just make a quilt. Um, this was a remnant and I love it. And then this was also a remnant and it's a much smaller piece, but it's like woodland animals on there. It's like a little deer, a little hedgehog right there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but it was super cute, so I grabbed it. And then at Target two weeks ago, they had this little cake stand that swivels. It will fit perfectly in the giant bookcase there. You can see the empty place. And so my plan is that this will go there and I can put smalls on it. So it was $5. Then I got some very, I got some stitchy kindness both in the mail and I saw Sarah K Stitches who I'm doing Consider the Lilies the Sal with. Uh, we met for dinner last week. She was one of the people I met out for dinner. Um, so she had gotten, she goes to the beach and there's a cross stitch shop down there that does $5 grab bags. And just a couple of the things that were in the grab bag this time that she didn't think she'd stitch. First off, 
lavender and lace so good this is serendipity this is from 1988 she also got this cute little um it's like a noah's ark noah's starlight ride isn't that cute oh i love that for a little kid just dropped everything this is erica michael's needle art count it cross stitch um i love this i don't know if i'll ever stitch it but it's so pretty leisure arts a little girl's fancy it's all going again um this came with the buttons this is sisters and best friends thanks be to god love that i was like you're really not gonna stitch that and then i've never done a biscornu but look at how cute these are it came with the the bespangles so i might do these for christmas soon i have a bucket of christmas um like ornaments and stuff for next year for fra and that's going in it and then in a oh and then this girlfriend's forever and i would love to make this for her i think she would really like it well i'm assuming she would we'll see there were a couple other things but that's the the highlights and then i also got in the mail from a friend she peep by plum street i have the i love this and i have the sloth one so i'm excited to have this and then <laughs> some fun fabric so just some and it's fun when you get fabric from people because it might not be stuff that you would uh, pick out so that was exciting and then these two little um for putting your flosses on very cute and then a kit for um ladies garden journal so someday i hope to do that and then just a couple other little things um some lady dot create uh, finishing stuff so it was a very fun box to get i love boxes i love i love stuff it's a constant struggle though because i have too much stuff and not enough room but it all makes me happy and i don't want to get rid of it but sadly i can't put like floor to ceiling bookcases in my house because it my house is old and they won't fit <laughs> um but anyway like i said i had a very great stitching two weeks i had a fun haul week um i have lots of plans uh, which are coming to america continuing with that finishing my september page for consider the lilies and probably just starting october uh because october is always busy for me and then um finishing the primrose cottage halloween piece and then starting my frosted pumpkin pieces so lots of plans um lots of stitching i'm gonna stitch this afternoon my dad's coming for lunch so he's having breakfast for lunch he doesn't know i have hash browns and ham and some cheese i'm just gonna bake them on a sheet pan and then i'm gonna do eggs so hopefully he likes it anyway i hope you're all well i hope you're staying safe i hope you're happy and i can't wait to talk to you in two weeks thanks for all your comments and don't forget the giveaway